Hey, this is Harmony, and you're watching Ambi. Hey, everyone. It's Leisha from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Harmony. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're here at Festival Toronto today. You played earlier on. How are you feeling? I know you're so excited about this. Yeah, no, it was good. It was really fun to play like what I want to play. When I used to play before, I just like when I open for people, you have to cater to yeah. like other people, whoever you're playing for. And today it's kind of just like me playing exactly how I want to. Like the visuals were all like made by me, so everything was just like just like a reflection of how I want to present my music, I guess. Yeah. It went well. So I'm happy. Awesome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your dream festival. Who would you want to be on the bill for that? Oh man, well I saw Tame and Paula yesterday and that like blew my mind. And I met Kevin Parker oh, and Jamie XX and that was fucking crazy. Sorry, I don't know if I can swear. You so. can swear, it's YouTube. Oh, okay, say whatever so. you want. Oh yeah, shit. Um, <laughs> no, I met Kevin Parker in the catering tent in the back and I like lost my mind. And then I shook Jamie XX's hand and like that was crazy too. Yeah. But I think it'd be it'd be Tame and Paula, Alexis on Fire, which I saw at Riot Fest last year. Um Anthony Hamilton, that's really weird. Andre three thousand. Man, can they be dead? Sure. Frank Sinatra. That's pretty, that'd be my top headliners nice. right there. Yeah. And another exciting news, you're now working on an album. Yeah, How yeah. How has the whole experience been for you? Um, I don't know. I feel like it's the same as like working on an EP. I just have to make more songs. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know. My music's changed a lot where it's more like analog and instrument based, like so I can do band work. Um, so it's taking me a lot longer because I have to reteach myself like yeah. everything. Um, just like a whole bunch of new instruments that I've never really like. Like I don't really play piano, so everything is like by ear. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm almost done. Oh, it should be done awesome. by the end of this month, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna do a few videos and then roll it all out together. Yeah. Well, I read somewhere you said there are a couple of weirder tracks on the album. Yeah, well, they're completely different than any of my other music. I just want to like rebrand myself, kind yeah. of. Like, I changed all my uh, my logos different now, which I'll like show later on. Um, the videos are kind of the same, like the lo-fi kind of stuff, but I don't know, I'm just like trying harder to like present, like, reflect how I feel, you know? And experimenting more too, because you might yeah, just yeah, like 100%. actually learning yeah. piano. I had to like learn bass last week for a few tracks. So you're then, just learning yeah. everything. Yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> yeah, I'm just buying a whole bunch of equipment. Just I need to, I get bored quickly. Yeah. So I just have to try new things to get more inspiration. Oh. And more excited. I want to talk about some of your tweets because, oh frankly, they are hilarious. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I recently shared, taking shits while Mac DeMarco plays in the <laughs> background all summer 16. What prompted that tweet? I was taking a shit while I was listening <laughs> to Mac DeMarco. No, like, actually, like, I probably wrote that while I was taking a shit. Um, no, that's literally it. It just came to my head and I'm like, oh, this is great. Gotta I don't know tweet why. this one. Yeah, it was a special moment. <laughs> it was a special moment, yeah. Yeah, there's no real backstory. It's like I love Mac DeMarco, and it just happened. I was taking a shit at that moment. So <laughs> I love the honesty. Yeah. I think it was Salad Days too, the track of yeah, the album. It's yeah, song. it's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> and you also said, "Someone tattoo me right now, please." Thank you. Would you ever trust a fan to tattoo you? Whether it's like a stick in folk even? Man, I don't even think I have fans. I think I just have like my <laughs> friends that follow me, and then, like a few other random people. But um. No, I just like like getting tattooed randomly all the time, and just I don't know, it's just fun for me. So just spontaneous tattoos, like yeah, do you know what you're gonna get going into them. Or? Uh, sometimes yeah, sometimes I'm there. I'm like, oh, that's what I feel like today. Just go. Okay. I don't have like that many, but I have enough to be like, yeah, they're pretty random. Yeah. But they all mean something to me. I just have to like, I'm like a very like spontaneous person. I guess I don't like to plan stuff too well ahead. Like I made my set for today yesterday night <laughs> at like two in the morning. So like this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, if you were to That's get a great. tattoo right now here at Festival Toronto, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Um, does it, um, I don't know. I'm trying to get a rose like for, like soon. I was supposed to get one yesterday, but I didn't. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'll get. Probably the rose because what I have in my head for like, the past like week. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with that. Nice. Yeah. And I know you're from Pickering. I, well, yeah, Scarborough then. Yeah, Pickering, right? I'm from Pickering as oh, well. Okay. Lots of family from Scarborough. Yeah, yeah. I feel like being from Pickering, a lot of times people are like, where are you from? And you just have to say Toronto a lot Toronto? of the time. Yeah, when you're outside <laughs> of Toronto, yeah. You're like right yeah, on the border. Yeah. I'm actually, when you live in Pickering, it's like you're trying to get out so bad, right? Especially like for people that are creative or just want to do something, it's like, yeah. it's a trap there. Even just right? going to venues is ridiculously difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's a trap, but, um, once you get out and you kind of look back on like how you grew up there, 
like me and my friends like reflect on a whole bunch of it now and be like if we didn't live in Pickering I feel like we wouldn't be doing what we're doing yeah just because we had all the time in the world because there's nothing to do there to be like spend all the time like working on music or like working on art we just like focused on that and like focusing on leaving to just be like all right cool at least we got out yeah you know what I mean yeah that's pretty yeah which when you think of Pickering are there any places or things that come to mind right away uh, McDonald's on Liverpool. <laughs> I'm there, I used to go there like every day. I still, yes. I go there. It's funny. I go there now because a lot of my friends still live there, and we go there maybe like once a week and just kind of sit at McDonald's and just like talk about what we've done. Because they're all very creative people. A lot of them are here, just in this tent. But um, we just talk and like show each other music and art that we did. And we just like we're all it's like a collective of people, and we just stay really low key. And we've been doing that since high school. It's like very just sitting at McDonald's having meetings I for love no that. reason. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, McDonald's. I went to St. Mary's, so I guess that's a thing that I didn't really like. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess like my mom's house. Yeah, she's still there. The yeah. garbage dump, yeah. garbage hill. Oh, yeah, true. The nuclear power plant. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah, that's it. There's not that many. There's not too many memorable spots. No, that's oh, what I was curious what yours would be. There's actually this like really secret uh, like swing in like a forest. They have to like walk through a trail too, um, and it swings over the water like to this like pond. It's like really isolated. Yeah, it's crazy. That's cool. I found that a few years ago. I might have to get a location from you yeah, after yeah, this. No, no, I'll tell Very you, neat. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell me a little bit about your Instagram name. You have it as Indie Thug. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's always like. When I was a little kid, I always wanted to be like a little like gangster baby, you know. Like I only listened to G Unit, and my mom was like, "Not nah, for that." Um, <laughs> and then my music kind of now is like kind of indie. I wouldn't like put it in electronic. I wouldn't put it in like anything. This is like how I feel. And I guess yeah. that's kind of what indie is too. Like there's some like indie rock songs on it, and there's like really melodic stuff on it, where it's just like synth and it's like, it's all over the place. But it's like it's how I feel at the time, so let's do it. If I like it, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I love the do what you want mentality. Yeah, you have it's to. Awesome. It's art, right? Like, we're doing music. We're not like doctors. Like, we can fuck up. <laughs> like, you're a doctor, you can't fuck up. Like, no. you're done after that. But, like, <laughs> I fucked up. No, I didn't. I fucked up a lot of times, but you learn from that. So, exactly. yeah. Let's wrap everything up today. Is there anything you want to say to the Harmony fans that are going to be viewing the interview? Um. The album is coming out. Buy it because I'm poor and I live at my grandparents' house. Um, yeah, no, that's it. I'm trying to buy my grandma a Jaguar, too. There you have it. Thank so, you. Yeah, no problem. No <laughs> Thank problem. you so much for chatting. And remember, to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogget.com for all sorts of interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.